the lane. It's when you start to go a little bit high that things might get a little bit loose for you. That's what happened to Will Power when I saw that two years ago in turn number two. Ideally, I think you'd like to be low in particular going into... Oh, we have a huge crash here on the track right now. It looks like Mikhail Aloshan. I'll have to look involved. up who it is. I saw Aloshan earlier was running very close with Charlie Kimball and as Charlie well Scott. Sebastian Saavedra, but don't want to identify just yet who it is as we have yet to identify. looks like Marco Andretti may have been involved just by looking at the colors. Now, a few laps ago, I noticed, and indeed I do see Charlie Kimball in the car. He is moving. That is good news. But I did see, and he gives two thumbs up, does Charlie Kimball. Charlie Kimball gave two thumbs up in that 83 machine. I saw earlier that we saw Sebastian Saavedra running with those, but this is going to be Mikhail Aloshan, also Charlie Kimball. Jack Hawksworth is involved as well. Looked like Mikhail Aloshan and Sebastian Bourdais, I understand, also involved. Yep. Um, but the good news is, at least first and foremost, Charlie Kimball, we can see getting out of the car and getting out of the car under his own power fairly easily. We will have to see and hope for the best now for Sebastian Bourdais. We are told Mikhail Aloshan and as well, Jack Hawksworth involved in this incident. Boy, you know, it's just a little thing. But the redesign over the years uh, of these chassis, um, you look at the way the front end of that race car of Charlie Kimball's is, is gone, all the way back to the firewall. And thank goodness for that firewall. Uh, we see Marco Andretti. He's out on the course. The safety vehicle is going by to pick up Marco Andretti. So uh, we're happy to report that uh, Charlie Kimball, and Michael Andretti both got out of their cars. They appear to be okay. They're walking to the safety vehicles under their own power. Uh, we're waiting for an update now to see what the situation is with the car of Jack Hawksworth uh, and the number 11 machine of Sebastian Bourdais. This incident is in turn number four. Now, Hawksworth is on pit road. Didn't mean to interrupt. Jake, okay. But we do see the 98 machine of Hawksworth is on pit road. Okay. Uh, and it looks like they're working on... Mikhail Aloshan, and this is probably going to end this session of this warm-up here. It is because we at can the see Auto now, Club Speedway in Fontana, California. Jake, we can see now that uh, a car got up into the fence, uh, the catch fence portion of it, and has disconnected the fence. There was a piece of suspension caught up in that fence, so that portion with the wheel and suspension, that portion of the fence was ripped away, and this is what you sometimes don't like about final warm-up sessions on ovals uh we understand uh uh that, that that you know you wanted one session under race conditions and we pushed it back so so the sun would not be a factor but uh i think our thoughts and attentions right now uh turn to the driver of the number seven machine michaela lotion that's who we believe uh, the safety crew is, is working to extricate from his vehicle now. Uh, as we said, we know the 98 machine of Jack Hawksworth. It reported back to pit road. We saw Marco. We saw Charlie Kimball. Uh, Nick Yeoman, I, I know you don't have a good view of the entire pit road, but did the 11 of Sebastian Bourdais make it back to pit road? Can you help us with that? I can look. Uh... So while Nick Yeoman uh, heads down pit road, takes a look at that, Jake Query, we can tell you that uh, Ryan Briscoe was P1 after this session. Scott Dixon had a spin earlier. He was parked on pit road, but he managed to turn in the second fastest lap. Will Power, Charlie Kemble, James Hinscliffe, your top five. Elio Castro and Evans, Tony Kanan, uh, Marco Andretti. Uh, the 11 of Sebastian Bourdais is back on pit lane. Uh, no communication from Mikel Aloshan, according to those in his pit. So we can tell you Bourdais made it back to pit road. The other car involved, Hawksworth, made it back to pit road. We see Marco Andretti walking up pit road now. And uh, we also know that, uh, that Charlie Kimball was able to get out of his car. And uh, he is, for all intents and purposes, okay. And uh, the focus now and the attention turns to the number seven machine of Mikhail Aloshan. Let me recap what it was that I saw. In the previous laps, I saw Charlie Kimball, Michaela Lotion, and Sebastian Saavedra running fairly close to one another. Nothing unusual. And, you know, I think just working on different, the different field, but they did go three wide a few times. And then, as you and I were talking, I looked down to the screen. I think the camera moved over at the last time. They have not shown a replay, but definitely saw a car getting up into the air and getting the air underneath them. That clearly was the number seven car of Mikhail Aloshan, and we can see that there is a substantial amount of damage done to the catch fence in turn number four, and it looks like one of those Firestone Firehawks is in 
the catch fence itself. But, of course, our attention now is to the safety and the well-being of Mikhail Eloshin. As we have said many, many times before, Mark, and we'll say many times more, the Hamacho safety crew was there almost immediately. He is in the care of the best medical team that one could have in terms of auto racing when these things, unfortunately, do happen. Nick Yeoman is on pit road. Yeah, I made my way down to the pit of Mikhail Ocean and uh, spoke with a couple members of that crew. They have not gotten a word yet from IndyCar, and uh, as well, they have not heard from their driver, Mikhail Ocean. Certainly, as we talked about, the attentions right now are uh, to extricate him out of that race car, uh, but uh, the team standing down here and uh, pretty nervous, Mark, uh, because they have not heard from IndyCar or that driver. Tell you what, Jake, rather than to continue to tap dance, if you will, and speculate, uh, let's go ahead and set the starting grid, uh, at least the front row for tomorrow's race. Um, Of course, this is going to change depending on the condition of some pretty uh, torn-up race cars. Uh, But, uh, again, uh, that that is certainly secondary to the well-being of the driver of the number seven machine. Your front row will be Elio Castroneves, Juan Montoya, and... Joseph Newgarden uh, will be on the air tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. That's 9 p.m. Eastern time. It'll be Paul Page and Pippa Man in the booth. Uh, yours truly, Jake Query, will be out on the course. And we'll have Nick Yeoman, Dave First, and Michael Young on pit road. Of course, you can follow the IndyCar series uh, on Twitter. Uh, of course, IndyCar Radio on Twitter uh, throughout the course of the evening. I'll tell you what, before we get out of here, one of the guys involved was Marco Andretti. Nick Yeoman, do you have him on pit road? Yeah, we're down here with Marco. I, I guess... Describe what you saw there in that accident. I saw smoke, but, man, it's hard to slow down from 220. I was uh, crossed up. I almost crashed myself, and then I ended up spinning to the inside, so I missed the wall, but obviously my uh, concerns are with Mikel right now. I right, certainly appreciate it. Uh, not a lot of drivers down here, I think, know exactly what happened. Uh, and, Mark, again, as we talked about, so we're going to take a little time until we exactly find out what happened, but certainly uh, hoping that uh, the well-being of Mikel Oloshin, and we'll get some word from that hopefully very soon. Safety officials are working to repair a section of the fence that was dislodged about the apex of turn number four. Uh, That's one of the many reasons why this session was ended early. Uh, They're still working over the number 83 machine of Charlie Kimball. Again, happy to report Charlie is okay. Marco Andretti's car suffered heavy damage. We just heard from him. He is okay. Jack Hawksworth, Sebastian Bourdais, uh, they were able to get back to pit road, but the, the safety crew continues to work. Uh, on the number seven machine of Mikhail Aloshin. He has not yet been extricated from that car. Again, uh, follow IndyCar uh, on Twitter, follow IndyCar Radio on Twitter, and uh, they will continue to update you on the condition of Mikhail Aloshin. Um, sorry to end on such a somber note, but again, our thoughts and prayers are with the driver of the number seven machine. Uh, we hope for the best news a little bit later on this evening as soon as we get it from IndyCar. That's going to do it uh, from Auto Club Speedway in Fontana. I want to thank Chris Pollock, our Indianapolis studio producer. Our on-site engineer is Rick Evans. The director of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Radio Network is Wally Levitt. For Nick Yeoman and Jake Query, I'm Mark Jane. So long for now from Fontana, California.